Hello friends, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. In this video, we will discuss a topic of code in Data4 and that is how to get data from database table by multiple IDs. Back to editor. So I am inside my Visual Studio code where I have opened a code in Data4 project. So we will see the concept of getting all the data from table using multiple IDs by means of getting data from model or query builder methods. We will see both the cases in both ways. So let's go and open .env file. So we can see that this project is connected with a database called ci4 underscore videos underscore tutorials. Let's go back to our database. So inside this database, we can see we have two tables. This is by default created called migrations. And here we have our second table called students. Let's go inside that. Now we can see that inside this students table, we have lots of data. So by the help of this table, we'll see the concept that if we are interested to fetch multiple data using multiple IDs, how we proceed that. And this case, we'll discuss using either model based concept or query builder methods. Let's go back to editor. So first we'll discuss choosing model. It means by using model, if we are querying our database to get data using multiple IDs, how to do that? Let's go inside app, controllers, let's open any of the controller. So I will prefer, let's say, site controller and inside the site controller, I will create a method. So first, let's remove all the methods from here. So public function, let's say, get students. And in this first approach, we are discussing all about using model. So I will go inside models folder. So right now we don't have any model. So let's create a model which will be associated with our students table. So back to terminal. Let's close development server. So by using PHP Spark CLI, we'll create our model class. So PHP Spark make model. And as we know that we are going to do operation with our students table. So the name of the model class will be something singular and with the table name. So it will be something called student. It means that student model will be associated with students database table. Student, it's a singular name, which is the model class name and students, which is the plural of database table name. So let's say that I will pass suffix as a flag. It means we want to file something studentmodel.php. Press enter. Now we can see that studentmodel.php file has been created inside models folder. Back to editor. Let's reload that. Go inside models and now we can see that studentmodel.php. So here as we can see that inside this protected variable called table, here we have our table name and the primary key is equals to id. So in your case, let's suppose the primary key column is with a something different name, you can specify that name, that column name right here inside this primary key. In my case, it is an id column. Now inside this allowed fields, let's suppose if we are interested to insert any data inside a student's table, so all the fields should be mentioned inside this allowed fields. Like inside this array, if I go here, let's click on a structure. So here we have our column names. So I will copy column name one by one and pass it inside allowed fields. The second we will have designation. I will copy, pass it here. Next, I will copy email. After designation, email. Next, we'll have called phone. It will be phone and created at. But this column have a means current time stamp as a default value. So we don't need to pass values for this ID and created at. So these columns should be mentioned inside this allowed fields if we are interested to insert any data inside a student's table. But this time, we are going to do operations with select command. So all we have done with the model, let's go inside site controller. I will go and load here. So let's say use student model. And this model class now imported inside the site controller. I will go and remove this construct method here. Now we have a single method inside site controller and that is public function get students. 
Now first thing first, if we want to do any operation with our students table, first thing first we need to create an instance or an object of this model. So here it will be student object equals to new student model and as we know that this model class is associated with students database table. Now by using this object, we can query and select all the data from table. So here it's a data equals to student object and I will use find method. Inside this find method, look at IntelliSense, also we can pass an array and this array is going to contain our primary keys values. Let's say that I'm interested to select the data. Let's go inside browse section. So here, let's say that I want to select, let's say 7, 8, 9, 10, all these 4 rows. What I will do? I will go here, let's pass 4 here, 5, 6, 7 and 8. If I save all these changes, let's say that echo, pi tag, print r and let's say data, simply we are printing our output. Let's go inside our routes.php. Routes.php. Let's create a route here. So here we have students, site controller and index method. So this is already defined a route here. So what I will do, instead of calling index method, I will call get students method. So copy the method name and change here. All we have to open this route into our browser. Let's go back to terminal. Start development server. So PHP Spark serve. Press enter. Now let's go back to browser. Reload this page. And if I will type call students, let's go again here. Go inside routes.php. So it is students. I will copy, paste it here. Press enter. Now we can see that we have all the data with ID equals to 5, 6, 7, and 8. It means we have selected all the data by the help of these IDs. And one more thing that ID number 4 is missing from this list and that's why because fourth number ID does not exist inside this table. So this is by using model based concept and the concept of primary key how to select multiple data using multiple IDs value. Let's say that at some point you can say that I am not interested to select all the data using primary key column. Instead, I want to select using designation. So how to select that? So in that, in that case, we will use where in method. So let's comment out that. Commenting this line, it's a data equals to student object and I will use where in method. Inside this where in, look at IntelliSense, first thing first we need to pass our key and the value. So in this key, we need to pass our column name. So here we have the column name as designation. So I will go and pass, let's say designation and inside value, I will pass an array and inside this array, let's say that I want to select all the data where designation equals to SEO or full stack. So it means we are selecting multiple data using multiple values. So I will copy this SEO here. Let's pass it SEO. And next I will select this full stack and paste it here. Now next after this varying method, we'll choose find all method. Save these changes, go here, go and reload. Now we can see that we have seventh number ID 8th number ID 9, 12, 13. So we have lots of data where the designation equals to SEO or our full stack development. So successfully, this is all about using model based concept to select multiple data using multiple values. Now let's discuss all about our second method and that will be our query builder method. So here, let's remove this concept. This is all about using model based concept. Let's remove this model from top header, go inside students. So first, we need to create, create a database object. So here, let's say db equals to db underscore connect. So by using this db connect helper function, actually we are initializing, we are creating a database object. So by using this object, 
let's create our, our table object here so db using table method and inside this method we need to pass our table name so the table name is something called students it means that here it will be student table so here we have just created a table object using table method so by the help of this table object we can perform any operation with this table so here we'll, we are discussing all about our select command so let's say student we'll call where in method already we know about this method that is where in so first we need to pass our column name so let's say that i ain't interested to select all the data using id column so id equals to next we need to pass a value so instead of single value i will select multiple data so let's say that i want values of fifth number id eighth number id ninth number id and twelfth number id and finally we will use get and after this get method we will use get result let's store all these values inside our data variable and here let's echo pi tag print r let's say data if i save all these changes go here let's reload this page now we can see that inside this array we have our array of objects first object we are getting fifth number id eighth number id means all those ids what we have mentioned right here inside this varying method so instead of getting object array let's we want array of arrays so here instead of using get result i will use get result array save this change go and reload now we can see that inside this parent array we are getting all the arrays so successfully now we had seen all about the concept to select multiple data from a database table using multiple ids concept as well as any of the specific column so the main thing we need to remember here that while using model based concept we can use either find method inside find method we can pass our primary keys values while using model based concept we can use find method and inside this find method we can pass our multiple ids values keep in mind those values will be primary keys now next if we want to use another column instead of primary key we need to use where in method and inside this where in we need to pass first pass the column name and then inside this array we can pass our values now next what we had seen while using query builder methods query builder approach If we are interested to select multiple data, what we have to do, we need to use where in method and in the same pattern, we need to pass the column name here, column name and then inside this array, we can pass our multiple values. So this is how we can use the concept of selecting multiple data inside Code Igniter 4. In our coming videos, we'll see some more different concepts. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.